My name is uh, Eugene Hale. Then uh, I found out uh, that wasn't my real name. It's Lawrence, Eugene Lawrence. But it's Hales in there. I'm, I was raised with Hale, so I've been using Hale to, all, all my life. So just lately, uh, once in a while, I put Lawrence in there. <clears throat> and uh, my grandpa's name was uh, Fred Lawrence. Uh, he passed away years ago, Josie Lawrence's grandpa. Anyway, uh, the, my uh, my grandpa's uh, wife was my, my great great grandmother, my grandmother's mother, and she raised me since I was a year old. Uh, and uh, she would uh, tell me uh, where originally where they came from, and and uh, she says they were Isanti Indians from uh, down south, uh, Nebraska area. So we come from Nebraska. We came up north and. Uh, and somehow we got involved in that uh, uh, that Custer's Last Stand thing, and we took off into Canada and lived up there for a lot of years. And they, uh, when uh, her daughter came down here, her name was Jessie, my grandma, Jessie, my mom's mother, and uh, she, oh no, my great grandma moved down here because this man wanted to marry her. My great grandmother. So he, she came down here and married a guy named Fred Lawrence. And then later in years, her daughter came down, Jessie, my mother's mother. And she, uh, she used to tell me uh, stories about uh, those, uh, about how it was at one day, at one time. And she said that we're originally from Santee, Nebraska, so we're East Scientists. So that's where we, I guess, we were from Nebraska. We came, we came, we made our way up towards. North here, and, and when they had that uprising down, uh, was this, uh, um, at uh, Standing Rock where uh, Custer was, uh, we we were part of our, our tribe was there. But uh, <clears throat> when when that happened, uh, they said they were gonna kill kill. I mean, this is this is what they she heard. They heard that they were gonna kill all the Sioux that were in that area. They figured that this was part of their the band. So they they took off north. They first they went into into Montana. Then they worked their way up into Saskatchewan and back into uh, Manitoba, and that's where they stopped. And uh, they lived in a place called Sioux Valley, Manitoba. And then uh, uh, later in years, uh, uh, she uh, she moved down here. My great grandma. She married this man named Fred Lawrence here. Then her daughter came down later, Grandma uh, Jessie, my mother's mother, and uh, she she got married here to my grandpa. His name was Henry Feather. And then he uh, he was uh, I guess they were doing pretty good till he started drinking. And start, he was abusive, so my grandma left him and she moved to Montana. She moved away. She wanted to get far as away she can away from her husband. But and then sometime there they went they they. Uh, Said so she, she, uh, she was a Canadian, my grandmother and my great grandmother. They're originally from uh, Santee, Nebraska. But they, uh, so my grandma Jessie, uh, they made her uh, uh, become American citizen. And she said, I, I, am, I was born here. When she said, my, my mother took me north. So, but anyway, it, what really happened was she was born in Canada. And she had a brother, but he passed away. And then, uh, then when my grandma moved down back down here, then my great grandmother, she was uh, in them days. You know, they don't um, like they ask for somebody for uh, some person for a woman to get, get married to, and they ran into my great grandmother. She was her husband passed away, and so they, she moved down here and she married this guy named Fred Lawrence, and she lived here for a lot of years and. And then she had uh, my, she had two children. There was the one that uh, my mother's mother and her her son. Her son stayed up in Canada. And then uh, his name was Thomas Mato. Uh, Mato means bear, or uh, yeah, bear. And uh, my grandma, uh, uh, her name was Mackay, from uh, Sioux Valley. And her her mom was married to uh, a Mackay. That's how the, my grandma's name was Mackay. And then after she moved down over here, then she moved back over here to the good grandmother. And she, uh, and then my grandma had my mother and two other ones. They're, they're gone now. But all of them are gone. Then uh, my mother had me. I was her first child. And 
my mother went to work to try to support me. And uh, she, so the great grandmother raised me since I was a year old. She said, uh, she said about a year old, we need to hit you too. She said, about a year old. And she said, uh, I raised you since then. So she raised me until, I can't remember what year she passed away, I think it's 71. But she was, uh, no, she was 91 years old. And, but anyway, she, she used to tell me stories from a long time ago. Uh, she shared a lot of it, and some of it I forgot. But uh, she told me that uh, when uh, when they moved on here, she said that this man wanted her to marry her, so she married this Fred Lawrence. But she used to tell me stories about a long time ago, and I, I remember some of the stories. And she said that we we were never really uh, at, at one place at one time. We we stayed there maybe a couple of days, then we move on to another place where we. we uh, kept away from the en enemy, she said, uh, the enemy people. And now uh, they do a move in different places, stay there till they have uh, scouts on the outside the the, uh, the camp. And they'll uh, watch if there's a, the token, is, uh, I mean, the enemy, you know, the enemy's coming, they, one of them comes back and tells them the enemy's coming. Like the Crow and, and uh, Cheyenne or different tribes. They were, and so they, uh, they would get ready to uh, fight the, uh, the Akichita, the, the cavalry would be coming. Or, or any, you know, any, any enemies we feel that there was an enemy, we would travel again, take off. And so we worked our way up to, uh, was it, uh, we came from Yankton. Uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we came up north into came uh, from Santee, Nebraska, in South Dakota there. When that battle was going on at uh, uh, some, you know, well actually it was not only one, not that Custer's last standing, it was other uh, battles between different tribes we fought against, so we kind of worked our way. We went, some came this way, we went towards uh, west, northwest into Fort Peck, uh, Montana, and then like, uh, my great grandmother, she, oh, my great grandmother, her her family went in that direction. She came up in this direction with her daughter. Her daughter, she had her daughter here, but she, she was uh, no Montana, Canada. She had her daughter in Canada. Then later in the years, uh, and <clears throat> they came back down here, because most of the relatives are here. And uh, you know, and then then my dad, my dad somehow I ran into my mom and. That's where I became part of that family. My dad's like, they're from Fort Peck, uh, uh, Sinabuin Sioux tribes in uh, uh, the uh, Poplar area, Montana. And uh, from there, the, we, we then, some years later, my grandma found out that it was related to my dad and his family. So it, she said, but it's a long ways apart, so it, it's okay, she said. So when, you know, she said, besides that, she said, we tried to break your mom and your dad up, but we couldn't, so we just let that go. And then my, uh, my grandma said that a lot of times where they, uh, they would, uh, you know, stay, stay up at nights, even the kids were, they were traveling, she said they were, they're not her, but she was just a girl too. So she did, they, they, they would go into the trees where they, they, they they never really burn any fire because it, it, it uh, causes attention and things come around like uh, enemy and people. They say, oh. And uh, so it would, we traveled all over, like we went all the way, they went up north into Canada, way up north. And, and, we, and, we, and then I also found out we have, I have relatives up there in that area, way up north, but distant relatives. But they, they know about our, my family. So they, then they moved into Sioux Valley where they stayed. And my, my mom, it was my grandma's, my mom's mother was born there and then she moved down here with my, and married my, my grandpa here. And then from there they had kids. But I, I, uh, I was told that, you know, there was always a, a scout uh, out there someplace watching, you know, for, for the enemy people to come around. If they come around, they run back and tell the, tell the camp and then, to shut down, turn off all, I mean, blow out the fire, put out the fire, and to sit, to wait and if the enemy would come by or attack. They're always ready for a, a, a fight. 
uh, against the other with the enemy. <clears throat> but sometimes they run into another tribe, a, a band of Sioux, and they get along, enjoy each other. So that uh, grandma was a part uh, uh, Isanti. That's I'm um, part Isanti. Then on my dad's side, uh, 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 what they call it, uh, Hohe, a Sinwon, a mixture with Sinwon, Hohe. And uh, so, uh, but my dad said we're not Hohe, so we're Sinwon, we're Sioux. But I, I talked to my dad a few times. And he said, well, I, last few years I was with my dad, and he, I lost him to. Uh, he had a heart attack, he had a bad heart, and my mom, she was married, remarried there, she was married to a guy named, last name first, and uh, then, then she divorced him and married another guy, his name was Combs Last. <laughs> 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 and so that was, that was kind of funny to me, you know. Anyway, the, uh, the guy's name was uh, Chuck. Comes last, and her 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 first her second husband's name was Reno, first, and uh, so they anyway they I couldn't get along with my stepdad because he was uh, he didn't like uh, me because I, I wasn't his child you know but I had brothers and sisters I only got one brother now they're all gone except I'm the oldest and I got one brother there his name is uh, 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 Vernon Dean first and then I I got a half brother. Uh, here, uh, his name is uh, Douglas, uh, uh, Douglas Seventy. He was, from, he, was born, he was raised up in the Grafton area. He, uh, he was adopted. My mom gave him up when the day he was born. She gave him away. So, but I grew up alone with my great grandmother, and uh, I enjoyed her uh, the life that uh, she gave me. You know, she she treated me like a, her her own child. She even hugged me and cried with me. And whenever time I, somebody makes me cry or something, I go home cry and she'll cry with me. So I had, a, had a, I had a pretty good life with her, you know. She enjoyed it. I think about her sometimes and say a few words, you know, and uh, burn the smudge, say a few words to her, and talk to her, tell her, tell her how much I miss her and all that, you know, just, you know, just to get myself to feel better again. Uh, you know, things like that, you know, and then, but she said we, uh, when I was up there, we was always ready, all the time, there was always, like we say, there was a scout out there, sitting out there waiting for uh, different uh, tribes, like the uh, Cree and uh, uh, the Ojibwe or other bands of people from up there who try to uh, attack our, our, our group. And then they, then they put us in an area called Sioux Valley, and then, after that, uh, my my uh, grandma, she moved. Uh, grandma Jessie, she moved back down. She moved down here. She, her dad was from uh, Canada. Her name was last time was McKay. Oh no, McKay. Uh, was that? Uh, yeah, it was McKay. And then, uh, and then some years later, she moved back. She moved down here. And then, and then my, my mom. She had my mom. My, my her daughter. My grandma. She had uh, three children. You know, my mother, and then she had a sister named Olivia, and then the youngest one was Jeanette Copperdall. She married a guy named Copperdall from uh, Maddox. And then my grandma was, uh, my mother, mother was married to a feather here. Then uh, the, her, my mother was born there, and then there was a daughter, another daughter named was, uh, uh, Olivia. Uh, uh, she went by Lawrence, I don't know her maiden name, her real maiden name was, but she went by Lawrence and so was, except for the younger one, uh, uh, Jeanette Feather, she went by her mom's name, her dad's name. But I, that, the, the, the people there, you know, the, the, I'm, the, I'm the only one that's left out of the, my family. Oh, I got, I got a couple of cousins, but uh, they're, they're, uh, they were born here. I was born in Montana. My, my mother went to Montana. And, Moved up there, and then that's where my, she met my dad. She moved in with her dad, her mother, up there. Uh, and lived with, uh, she lived with them, and then when I was born, and my uh, my, my dad name was uh, Justin Hale. And her, her mother, his mother was uh, uh, Agnes Hale. I forgot the, the her maiden name was. It was a maiden name. I love these names. I I forget. I get at times, or I forget names. I could I can't remember right away, but a couple of hours later I remember. 
But uh, her name was Agnes uh, Hale. My mother, my grandpa's name was uh, J uh, uh, it was, uh, it was an Indian name. Uh, but anyway, his, uh, his, oh, his name is Francis, Francis Hale. But he had an Indian name he owned by. Uh, they, all, they just knew him by that. And then, then he had uh, four kids, I think, four or five kids. But one of them, uh, uh, one of them was my dad. My dad was, I think he's the second oldest. There's one older than him, but he passed away. And his name was, uh, oh, there, was there was another brother after, below him, younger than him. His name was Mervyn. And then there was uh, Matilda. Was, there was four of them all together. But anyway, they originally, uh, originally from Santee, Nebraska. That's where it came from. And that's where uh, my, uh, my uh, the, the tribe, they, they got me down as a uh, Santee, Santee uh, Sioux. But they got me now down as for, for, uh, for uh, Double Six Sioux Tribe, because I was born here in, uh, for, uh, the, the, in town here in Double Six. My mother had me. You know? And um, my life, uh, my grandma's life, was, she said, was uh, we never hardly sleep, she said. We, we travel, we're always uh, on the run because of the enemy, uh, Otoka, she called him Toka. And, uh, uh, so there's always somebody out there watching, see if there's a, a different tribe would come in. I, I don't know how they knew it was a different tribe, but they, uh, maybe the regalia or how they dressed her. But that's how they, when they see them coming, they, they go into the trees, they stay in there till it's, uh, they're gone or, or another band of Sioux tribe come by here. You know, you get along like that, I guess, uh, I guess they, uh, they had a hard time with other tribes, with even their own tribe, the Sioux tribe, because there were some that were run, renegades or whatever. They were only after uh, children. They stole children and, uh, and raised them and saying that these are my kids. And they wouldn't teach their, their language to them, even though they're Sioux, they're teaching them either Cree or Ojibwe or a different tribe language. That was, that was happening back in the day, you know. That was one thing they all did. They stole children from other tribes, or they all kill them all. Or that's how they, she was telling me anyway. So anyway, they, they, she said, we, that's how we lived. So we used to hide all the time, staying in the trees.